Uh, hello there, are we live? Okay, seems that we are. Okay, dokie. So, today we are continuing the work on the serial uh, connectivity. Uh, so, today we want to get before. We got the serial working on the uh, Blackpill uh, development board, and then I recorded a stream where I uh, did the firmware upgrade and the testing of the ESP module. But because of some uh, music within the uh, stream, uh, got through and the Twitch overlords didn't like it. Uh, the large chunk of the video got, uh, basically the audio got wiped out because I didn't record on separate channels. Uh, this I chopped it up, uh, managed to salvage whatever I could from it, uh, but because of the remaining audio within the video uh, got on the bad side of YouTube as well, so that video is unavailable on the YouTube. Uh, it is, however, available on the Odyssey. Um, and that video is... Is this a uh, firmware upgrade, which uh, was a, a journey. Um, because of basically because of uh, some of the issues that we had with loading and finding, most of all finding the correct uh, firmware. Um, but we managed to do this. Uh, we upgrade the firmware. First we upgraded the firmware manually using ESP tool and then we brought it up to the latest firmware just by performing the uh, actual uh, update or yeah, the update command, the 80 command. Uh, which brought it up to the to the latest firmware and then we did some uh, actual testing and we managed to send the data from the module to the uh, netcat listener on the host machine over the Wi-Fi so that was a bit of a progress a uh, good progress so I think now we will be able to use this uh, and send UDP or TCP data uh, across the Wi-Fi to whatever listener we're going to have. Um, so yeah, anyway, if anybody's interested, that video and all of the other videos actually are available on the Odyssey uh, on my channel. Um, so today I want to uh, at least, because I don't have too much time, uh, so at least uh, I want to start working on the uh, some sort of uh, um, well API for communicating with the um, with the ASP module. Uh, like that. So this is where we finished the last time, uh, because in the other video I didn't touch the code at all. I was just uh, struggling with getting the firmware uh, loaded into the, the module. So we need to start it um, somehow. Yeah, so... Uh, we want to come up with some sort of API that we can just um, basically grab, grab a bunch of predefined commands, uh, be able to push, pass in some uh, data into it and then send it over the AT interface 
over the serial uh, uh, interface. Um, so we will need to create some sort of module. Um, so let's call it driver. Uh, okay, this is going to be Wait, maybe like that. How does it look like on the screen? I think it's good enough. Uh, maybe yeah, something like that. Okay. Um, so we need a driver and we need uh, the file there. Then. So we need to because we do want to use the um, we do want to use the interrupt for the communication at least for the receive stuff because uh, at least initially, I think the way it's going to work is that, that we will basically pull the the camera for the frame, and each frame is going to be basically just a bunch of bytes in the buffer. And then once we have this full frame, we want to send it uh, to the remote device so that means that i don't really care about the transfer the interrupt driven as in not uh, serial interrupt driven because i think there's going to be some sort of interrupt on the that uh, frame availability coming from the camera so we want to trigger then and then just grab the whole frame and send it uh you know to the remote device uh, but we we do want some sort of kind of acknowledgement or some ACK being sent from the remote side uh, so we probably want some interrupt uh, on the RX side okay so um, So there's going to be some sort of rx not empty interrupt where we will read the byte of the response but the serial interface uh, for this chip allows us only to read one byte so we basically we will need to uh, read a bunch of bytes that uh, that you know collectively make the response and be able to but not read each bytes individually uh, read the response when all of the bytes are uh, collected so we could either um, create an interface that will allow us to know how large the response is going to be i guess for each of the commands which i think is going to be a little bit of messy or uh, i think we can use the uh, interrupt i think the slightly better approach is going to be to use the no, it's not the interrupt, it's the user interrupt, but it's the event, serial event. So uh, we could probably use the idle interrupt. So in here, instead of the 
uh, transmit is the idle event. So we will basically listen for the idle line, which will tell us that all of the bytes has been sent. Uh, and then we we are ready to assemble it and write the full output. And there's probably later on we will need to have uh, find a way to parse the response because we don't really care about all of the data. Um, for example, well, maybe, oh, well, maybe we are uh, like for the vast majority of of those commands you only care about is it either okay okay or error. Only some of the commands that the the content of the response matters um, so we will have uh, some sort of struct probably ESP01 um, that um, What does it really need to have? It will most likely need to have some uh, reference to the serial and some internal buffer for reading the data. So we can either have a serial in here. Or we could store the ex or the uh, rx and tx object separately. I'm not sure if that's a decision I need to make right now, to be honest. Let's let's store it separately. Um, uh, rx and And a buff, so Rx buff. So that's going to be a vector. Um, there's going to be bytes in there, and let's say the buffer is going to be 64 bytes. Uh, no, that's definitely too low, because uh, some of some of those responses were pretty large, but uh, 256 bytes, I guess, for the time being. And then we need to find out those objects. So TX and RX. And maybe the compiler will help us. And where's our lenses? Okay, if we don't have lenses, well, we need them. But we have the good old documentation. So serial TX, how serial TX? Okay. So um, this is R. This is R X, and this is TX. Okay. And. Did we... Ah, yes, we didn't save it. That's what we don't have to save. Boom. Okay, now. Oh, yeah, that's better. Uh, Okie dokie. So, in this scope... need some generic stuff so that requires usart so that's going to be our generic uh, uh, or it is going to be generic over the usart number uh, like that the vector that comes from the uh, heatless Okay. 
So we need to input the ESP of the user. Um, so we will need some sort of new function. And the new function, what do we have here? So Can pass in the whole um, serial in there actually. Um, so we need glare and driver. ESP one. Ah, no, it's not public, is it? So we need this that's going to give us self. Um, so in here we will need to take the serial, split it into the TX and the RX half, and uh, and initialize the buffer. So we need the serial. Um, serial like this. So that takes the usart as well. Now it takes the usart and the word size and the pins. And so you eight. And what was this? The pins. Um, What is it? What's the pins? GPR, okay. Oh, so that can be just a generic. Uh, I think like this pins and then. because we need the um, we cannot use undeclared under regarding it um, so now we can um, I guess we can simply just take split the serial and uh, just return the object so basically the way we do this in here so px and rx so you split, uh, so that should give us the uh, x, R, x, and uh, R, x buff uh, as Okay, so we need to bound to the uh, the generic argument. So user is of type in. Okay, I'm running out of screen instance. Uh, so that's gonna complain. So I think instance is just here. Here we should be able to just take the uh, let and this p zero one equals p zero one and new 
serial. So then we can do this. Yeah, no, this is this fine. But uh, yeah, and we lose the access to the uh, TX. Uh, we don't have to do this anymore. And then this simply becomes uh, SP, uh, SP01 over inside one. this uh, later. So now we want some sort of way to send the command and receive the command. And then like I said, we need to be able to just read the the bytes of the response and then assemble it together. Um, so uh, um, just send the command. And we need to be able to pass in what we want. So you know, some sort of command, command and data, or like arguments to the comments. The only problem is that some of the commands they don't take any argument because we can simply send the query. For example, so this has to be some sort of option. And data, and we probably want some sort of result. Um, okay, I just need to move to screen. So the result probably is going to be this for the time being. And I don't want to define any errors yet uh, because I'm not sure. I'm just not sure what errors we're going to come across. And so let's just um, let's just return this the time being so that we can at least have some indication of you know whether the command success uh, you know finished successfully or not and uh, how about this Generic sent common data. This type takes. Oh, we have some sort of collision here. Uh, AT data and AT command. That's better. Oh no, it's complaining about the result. Okay, so send the command. Um, Part function uh, read byte. Um, result. Uh, result. Oh well, yeah, because it's going to read internally into the buffer, so we don't need to return anything. Uh, we need this though, possibly. Um, to do, and we need some sort of function to um, get 
this point. So once we have the idle interrupt triggered, we can probably uh, return the actual response. Get response. Um, so in here we will need to return something actually. Um, so we will return a string of whatever. Um, const uh, response max response plan and the size uh, which is going to be let's do it like that for the time being Response LAN and again stack. like that and do um, yeah, we need to hit this string. So we need a comment and a data. So probably need some sort of uh, comment structure. So there's a whole shitload of comments that uh, that are available, and I'm worried that just just finding a uh, format that will accommodate all of those different uh, formats is going to be a bit tricky. Because you, you can uh, command set. Is there? A, yeah, you can have a test command, query command, set command, and execute command. So so essentially, all of this you can pass in as a string. So as you have a command and a string. Even with the commas and, and all of this. So that means that you have to be able to send the quotation mark as well. But for example, there's an issue with, let's say, the TCP command. So in order to uh, send, uh, let's say, a TCP stream, you have to execute the start command with this uh, parameters which is which is fine okay and then you have a command for example that sends the actual data because the other one is actually connection and then sip send sends the data the problem with this is that it looks like this so that fits you know the 
uh, you know, are current for us, so comment and the data, but the data is just length. So once we execute this, we get a prompt back. And then after we get this prompt, we, we can send the actual data, TCP data. So, and I don't know, for example, if if other tricky commands like that. I only know about this one because that's the one I test so far. <sighs> hmm. Okay, I think we're gonna have to start simple, and then once. We get to this we will see what we can do so but still we will need to create a whole bunch of commands or the structs and each struct is going to be a different command so there's no point of you know of setting up pop struct you know and what was there uh, reset a t command. It would be better to just go and create a trade. Let's say a t command that will that will need a rd function cmd. Say and function data. Maybe so. And then we can just create, a, let's say, input command uh, macro, let's say. Uh, whoops, uh, let's say some easy commands to test it with. So like this, so we can query and we can set. So for example, where are we here? So CW mode. Query, let's say, and then the the command. So AT plus uh, C to the okay, that's going to be common, so we can append this. So like this, and then we can have let's say set. CW mode like this, I guess. Um, and then a value one or client mode or whatever. But on the other hand, we might wish to have we we definitely will want to have this. Uh, we definitely want to have a possibility to set this dynamically. So probably both options will need to be supported. Let's say like that. Maybe. So probably in this case we don't want this. Uh, like that though, just a command. Like this. That means that this is going to be a trait. So, um, CMD.
Okay. So that means that the data then, so that's going to return the comment, that will return the data, so that means we need to be able to uh, set the data. And with uh, data. So, self, 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 and then. So data that's essentially just going to be a string. So I think uh, for the time being, let's again keep it simple. So that means that this returns a static string. String, same as this. So, yeah, and this is going to be mutable because we're going to be setting data up. Okay, so we need to now uh, define the macro. So, import. Command, uh, input command, and we so we will need the the command name and the uh, the command expression and optionally data. So uh, name it's going to be the event, and we will need. The uh, what was the comment expression? I guess. Yeah, the comment uh, expression, and we will and we will need the optional data. Okay, we'll look at this in a second. So that means that then we just need to declare uh, the struct, uh, declare the struct, and then implement the uh, uh, implement the AD command trade on it. So pop struct, and that's going to be the CMD name, and it will need uh, data so option. And again, that's going to be the, the reference to the static string that we will pass in uh, or in the, uh, in the macro. Um, with just some sort of reference to that, to that string, I guess. So that means we need to have that. A lifetime specifier in here, and that means that we can input at command uh, for and for cm name like that. Um, This and that's going to be have to be declared in here. So we will need the command function. And so that's self. So actually, we don't need that self because we don't store that command 
and we just think about itself we don't we don't access anything from uh, from the struct uh, but we want to be able to call this as a member so we need to pass it as a member so whatever So that means we just need to pass in the CMD. exist if they exist so the data and again that's going to be I won't be able to return it as a static string though It's not static, it's the data that's going to point to the to our data field in our in our struct. So it's just that. So it's not data. And actually that's going to be an option as well. So that means we need, to be able to, we need to be able to do this. So I'm just gonna do it the lazy way. We then don't need to store this. We have no need for this. We don't need this then. What we are returning is just some uh, data. Is it? Command name. Uh, help indicate the anonymous lifetime. Oh. 
Pascal, ça va être notre pile. I don't know. That's because that that was used incorrectly. Uh, but then, why well, this doesn't shout at me? In fact, there's an unimplemented. I would expect this to be error in here. However, in this case, it's going to be empty, so maybe we can just take and do empty or like a default implementation of this, like that. Because in this case, we won't be setting any data. I think it's good enough for now. Um, so we'll use um, create command. Wiki command. Okay, so. Long here the data. So I do need okay. it does not necessarily outlive it. With data, it does not necessarily outlive the lifetime A as defined here. Okay, I can't believe it. Uh, this. So then they seem to sit uh, make a lot. Okay. Okay, and uh, so then uh, it requires the as well. Stuck with a lifetime on that trade as well. Hmm. Okay. <coughs> okay, okay. So maybe that's going to be a good time. We just commit this for the time being. <gasps> Since the last stream, there was no commit. Okie dokie. stuff in that case.
constraint of the size of my screen here. So send comment. So we need to be able to um, Actually, yeah, we are not sending the. Uh, we have to be able to send the. Um, because everything has to be prefixed with the AT plus string. So AT plus. Like that. Yeah. And same here. Okay. So in here we need to be able to send the uh, the command and then the string and then we need to be able to send the the confirmation. Um, okay. Uh, self dot transmit. Um, there is a, a bright string or bright string because um, that's implemented on the text. So we are able to just take the uh, cmd dot cmd. We probably need to change the naming a little bit, but it's fine for now. And then the data is optional. So if let um, some data uh, cmd dot data, we need to send this as well. Uh, dot uh, write string and data, and we need to terminate. Uh, a transmission with, um, with the slash r slash n string. So carriage return and new line. And obviously we're being silly because those are methods. Uh, so we need this, but we need not as well, don't we? Yeah, because it's there's an internal bar for anything that's being created. Okay, and we need use core FMT right. Oh no, that's unused. Okay, so that's not it. That was unused. Uh, what's wrong with this unwrap? We don't have this. It's definitely there. Uh, when was this? It was definitely there, yeah. For the act, TX. And that's coming from or FMT, right? Yeah, exactly. Metal not found in blah 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 blah. CMD. I'm missing the trait, and I think I need to make the right string from first struct. Sort instance right for x user. For this, I need to do this for here as well. <sighs> Ok, 
Okay. I did it here, I was supposed to do this in here. So that should be so. Okay. Yeah, and we unwrap it. Okay, there's somebody at the door. Okay, back. Uh, well, we, yeah, we need to unwrap those. Uh, and yeah, I incorrectly specified the bounds. Okay, okay. I'm back in the zone. Okay, uh, and we need all of those unwraps. Uh, and here as well. Oops. Ah. So, yeah, so that's our sending. Yeah, so that's our sending. So we need to be able to read bytes as well now. So we will So we need to react to our interrupt uh, and then differently we need to react differently to a receive not uh, rx buffer not empty interrupt and we need to in, uh, react to the uh, idle interrupt okay so in order to read byte so as usual we need to kill the uh, uh, and listen. We need to stop the interrupt so that it won't trigger while we're in the wrap in the in the interrupt routine. Um, insert rx uh, will is why am I about to completion is so so optimal. Uh, is r is rx no this is sp come on man Sorry. rx is rx not empty is rx not empty okay i need to stream this right now hold on i think i just need to Uh, where are we in Okay, so we need to react. Oh, that's my problem because I'm being silly again. We need self in here, that's why. Uh, okay, so if it's not, em not empty, um. We just read the byte and we stick it into the uh, internal buffer. So let byte is self. Dot r. I just need to close the door because my kid's gonna be back soon. And they just gonna bring in the chaos. Actually, but I don't have much more time left. So self rx um, read. Because uh, we just need a read byte. Yep. And so okay. And then once that byte is read. the trade is in scope and the scope we need is called serial read I think so
this. I have to create a key binding for uh, for the action so that it uh, executes the action on the key press. Uh, Static string, uh, so just map error and then um, from RX uh, buffer. This will be uh, found in, yeah, then we need to then just boom. pushing here into the heapless vector which is a limited space so basically every push with every push there's a danger that we overflow it so that's why there's another up here um, and then once we do all this uh, we need to restart the um, uh, interrupt okay then in case of response, that's actually getting a little bit trickier because that's actually getting a little bit of trickier because uh, here, well, not trickier. Here we just need to wait for the idle interrupt and. Um, and just assemble the, the message. So self rx on this um, there should be yeah, I did it again. So but it's also going to be mode. So uh, dot on this um, idle that uh, and listen idle and we will interrupt it over the uh, we will iterate over the internal buffer and we will create a string out of that so self dot rx buff dot iter uh, dot Uh, dot map and so a character or a byte uh, and then the class char and collect. Does that work? going to be our response which is our response string should I say um, and then okay response uh, like that and we need to uh, we need to clear the idle, idle interrupt and uh, restart and then listen for idle interrupt again, which is this. Yeah, I'm afraid that that's gonna work. It doesn't have this. It doesn't have the, the, the heapless string doesn't have the full functionality of the standard string. So that 
means we can just take it and what is it for each um, byte and then response dot push and push like that which is going to be the plus char uh, I don't know I guess and then response that's actually going to be a string new basic try I guess um, so now we just need to try and stick it in into the um, uh, into uh, the rest of our code so in here the way we were doing it is hold on So first of all, we need to uh, pass in the ESP, but actually here is going to be slightly different because that's going to be part of a shared struct because we want to be able to access it within the uh, the idle, let's for the time being at least, in the idle uh, task where we will be reading the stuff from the camera and then sending the, uh, the comments with the data and yet we want to access it in the uh, Rx or the UART interrupt handler to be able to read the responses. Uh, so ESP01 is in fact ESP01 driver with USART1. Uh, uh, so we will need this in here. Then we will be able to access it in here, which is shared. And I did that ESP01 and let ESP01 equals CX dot shared and uh, ESP01. Okay, and in here we don't have uh, this and this any longer. So none of that and none of that. Uh, we will have uh, this. So that means we need uh, this. Like that. <coughs> Uh, local missing oh I did it twice no that's wrong this yeah okay um so this we don't need to do the ah The lack of consistency strikes again. Okay, so this this we don't listen here any longer. Actually, we don't do any of this stuff. Okay, so what we need is uh, we have the ESP. here we need to create a data and send this so let cmd equals um, what were the comments we created uh, cw mode query let's start from this so it's 
CW mode query. Uh, ah, actually, yeah, how am I going to create this? So, uh, input what's the core Def uh, default. Default uh, for uh, CMD name and uh, so function default. Uh, what's, the, what's the syntax? Uh, default should be in the core, I guess. Okay, so that means in here we can just simply take and uh, run the default uh, like this, and this needs to be yes. Uh, where do we take it from here? Start it here. No, I do need to start it here. Unless I can do this here doing initialization, it doesn't really matter. Uh, for the time being. So in here we have the command, so we should be able to just like this ESP blah and then send a command uh, which is just the command. Construct ESP that needs to be ah yes okay so it's actually ESP zero one and uh, lock so in fact it's this. shared so we need to um, utilize the, the logging um, so here we're going to send the command um, and then if there's some sort of response we should see it in here so now we need to handle the, uh, the user itself so in here, every time uh, we run the interrupt, we know that one of the events occurred. So, so actually here, okay, because everything's gonna revolve around this. So, uh, so we have a share the block, 
and look. So ESP01. So ESP01 boom dot. Uh, no, in this case we want to be able to just read the byte. Uh, read the byte. Uh, read the byte. So we handle this, and if it's actually if the uh, it, uh, interrupt in fact did occur, uh, we're going to read this. So that's all that we need here. Uh, but if uh, there is an idle interrupt, we want to get the response. So, okay, so we need to expose the, this test in here. So, uh, pop function is response um, ready. Self and that returns uh, bool. And so that's self.rx um, is idle. So if um, ESP zero one dot is response ready, um, let response is ESP zero one dot. Uh, we get response. And uh, unwrap. And if we have the response, we go into Stick it into a queue. Uh, so uh, rx prod uh, dot uh, what is it? Move into that we had this configured to be um, u 8 so actually in fact we are not sending anything into the interrupt so we don't need uh, this so actually we don't need any text stuff at all here our whole text two can be go bye bye uh, so this and this and this and this and then we are no longer sending bytes we are sending the actual string uh, of size whatever we had here max response len we need to export this constant Take it from command. Yeah, no, it's from driver. That's 
Oh yeah, yeah, because we don't do this any longer, we just want to uh, display it a little bit, uh, get some bytes in. What is going here? This. Uh, too far is not implemented for a string. Response. Uh, response. Uh, Format is not implemented. Is it for this? It should be for the string, though, yeah? Yes. What? That's a massive error. What's going on? Oh, ah. the compiler's bark is more scarier than its bite. Uh, previous disclosure required. Uh. Oh, because we're locking the context here, we cannot use this in here, so we need uh, uh, we just need to grab it outside of the uh, that closure. Uh, so that's our S prod. Um, that's context of local and rx prod uh, like that. Yeah. And what is this? Unwrap. Just not working. <laughs> okay, so let's have a look what's going on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Um, hold on, I kill this just a second. No. Serial, we enable the interrupts. Hello from init. So we get as far as this. Uh, so we're never going to get into this. Uh, so in driver. So let's see if we can um, send stuff first. Um, so send not. Okay, so we are sending command. So we are sending command. So now let's see if we are receiving something in the interrupt.
So that means what I do wonder is if we know that it sends. Do we know if it actually um, reaches it? Never hit a moon rocket. Why do we crush? Error reading from RX buffer. Where do we have this? Oh, yeah, here. I wonder why. So I don't think that's it's a good test. Send comment. We never hit the interrupt. Do we? Oh, we do hit interrupt here when I unplug the pin. Is my connection okay? Definitely send it in here. That's our RX con. I'm thinking, should we maybe hold on and maybe this interrupt and only do this after we send the command? So we write string Could it be that my... There was a problem uh, in the stream about the termination the cartridge return new line stuff I wonder if I could get a proper errors from here and we'll see then like that uh, uh, we need core FMT error okay FMT and error and then 
Let's check it from here. Um, the margin on the command just to be absolutely sure that we are in fact sending it. And so if we have okay, um, this. Okay, so our problem is with um, reading In fact, sending it. Okay. Let's do this and okay. So, can I show this? Okay, I didn't plug in my camera and I don't want to restart the um, the OBS. Uh, but anyway, what I'm doing right now is I'm going to hook up the I'm going to hook up the uh, the module directly to the serial cable uh, with the proper ground. Uh, this thing died. Sending and here we're going to sudo and uh, okay. And I want to see. What the hell am I doing? I hook it up to the module. That's wrong. I'm stupid. Um, I'm hooking up the serial directly to the um, to the black pill serial.
Yeah. So we will definitely send him. So that is fine. That means somewhere within our implementation we are way way off. Our power trade doesn't change. after we turn on after we send the command hmm. I wonder because first we check the doesn't make any sense. So Rx and empty. The module is just not sending any data. In fact. Do we see any activity on it? Okay, I'm going to disconnect it, the serial port, power on the um, microcontroller. So the blue LED is actually flashing on it after boot. I'm gonna hook up pins. If I reverse the pins, will I also get a success point in assembly? Maybe my pins are reversed. Just messing with pins on the module itself.
Shit. Okay, that was a. It seems it was a pins issue on the microcontroller, or on, on the module. I, I had a messed up uh, connection. Uh, as in the, I'm using those female to male connectors, and one of them was wobbly. Whoops! There's electronics for you. Okay. So we have hello from init, hello from my task, success sending, and this is our response. Okay. So now we are able to send this in a loop. So, uh, C, I think we're just going way too fast. Um, so we need some sort of delay. Um, delay. We have a delay. There's a system delay. Oh, come on, man. Delay. this in so so for the local we're gonna go uh, right uh, sys delay um, and that's coming from Mega. It's by in here and what delay is uh, what is it? CTX dot it's come from core uh, system cyst uh, dot delay. We need one more argument, so I know. Um, one, uh, one dot hearts. I'm not sure because they changed the uh, timing functionality. Oh no, sorry, the delay that took box was it? I don't remember. Uh, let's check it out in a second. Yeah, there is a delay, so in this case, in here we can just uh, we can just slow it down a little bit. And there is a counter on us. The MS, yeah, so in one second.
そうなんですよ。ね、ディガイド。No. あ、ファスね。How do you use this? Examples. Out of the internal buffer, you need to、uh, clear the buffer because you have a limited space, and if we keep pushing, we are、uh, overflowing it. So, empty, not、uh, clear. So now we can we keep our internal buffer clean and ready for more、uh, responses. Okay, so the next step is going to be probably parsing those, or I think I'm comfortable enough to just go and have a look at the camera maybe in the,、uh, the next time.、Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to be doing this all of the, on the stream because I want to actually do this project, but I don't have always time to stream this.、Uh, but I'll try to stream as much of it as I can. Uh, but definitely, the, the camera is what I'm gonna try next, and probably maybe improve a little bit on the, on the API. But right now, I really need to run because the kids are back, and the guy is right outside of this door. So,、uh, talk to you later. Bye bye.